Friday 13th December 2019 was to many a judgment day right in the well of the Sierra Leone parliament. Reason being, this was the time to put an end to one of the most talked about issues in the country, if not the most, that has to do with the non-accountable impressed clause in the country's 2020 finance bill. The said bill was piloted in the well of parliament by the Minister of Finance, Jacob Yusuf Safa, and it was controversially approved by members of parliament late into the night of Tuesday, 12th November 2019. The approved bill, though, was impatiently awaiting presidential assent when it came to the spotlight for all the wrong reasons. This was because the public, mainly on social media, raised a barrage of serious concerns on Section 42, Subsections 5 and 6 of the 2020 Finance Bill, which gives the President, his Vice, and the Speaker of Parliament the entitlement of a non-accountable interest for their international traveling expenses. According to Budget Advocacy Network ban, this provision would limit the audit service Sierra Leone's mandates from auditing that particular budget line at the office of the president in a move that was viewed by many as victory for the general public. The president, Julius Madabiu, dissented to the said bill and sent it back to parliament, calling on MPs to amend subsection 6 of the said provision and to give a ceiling to the non-accountable interests. So MPs, we are in the well of parliament on Friday to respond to this action of the president as a result of public pressure and do the needing on the said bill, considering the thorny concerns from the general public. Honorable Indolomoy Wugivao is chairman of the legislative committee in the Sierra Leone parliament. He reads a motion to address the situation. This is resolved that this honorable house expunge clause 42 of the bill entitled the Finance Act 2020 in accordance with Standing Order 586 and Section 106, Subsection 7 and 8 of the 1991 Constitution of Sierra Leone. As you can hear, the motion read by Honorable Gevao calls for a complete removal of Section 42 in the 2020 Finance Bill as opposed to giving a ceiling to the non-accountable interests requested by the President, Julius Madabio. What as though it had been well orchestrated by the country's lawmaking house? The Speaker of Parliament, Honorable Dr. Abbas Chernobundu, goes on anyway to put the question on the floor for the votes of members of Parliament. Now that it is apparent that the much talked about or rather infamous non-accountable impressed clause in the 2020 finance bill has been expunged totally, the Speaker of Parliament took time out to explain the next stage of the process regarding the bill, which must come into effect by January 1st, 2020. The finance bill from which you've now expunged section 42 will be adjusted in terms of its number to be reprinted with the adjustment in the numbering and resubmitted. There is no gain saying the fact that the public has been very interested in this particular matter, as very clearly demonstrated by publications, utterances, newscasts outside of this house. And I believe the procedure that we have now adopted is the most appropriate in dealing with this particular matter. But what do other members of parliament who have been somewhat vocal on the issues surrounding the said bill think about the ultimate end of this non-accountable impressed vogue in the well of parliament, considering the ostensible fact that the instruction of the president, Julius Madabio, for MPs to just give a ceiling to the non-accountable impressed clause and pass it on was not religiously followed by the Sierra Leone parliament this time around. The president took his own decision based on what the, con the powers constitution gives in 106. We have 105. 105 says Parliament is the supreme legislative body. We're independent. He took his action. We as Parliament took our action. So what we have done is, as Parliament, independent of what the President wanted to do, was to take it up. So it does not even exist anymore. It is not what the President wanted. It is what the people wanted. And we believe our President is a listening President. 
it should give priority to what the people want. And uh, as far as that unaccountability nature of that impressed remain, the people will not be satisfied. And it is, it, it is even, as far as I'm concerned, it is even not worth discussing because it is in the wrong law in the first place. So as a result, it is not even worth discussing. All that is supposed to be done is for that section 42 to be rightly placed. It's a victory for all of us. Remember, section 73 of Sierra Leone's constitution makes provision that the president, His Excellency, is also part and parcel of parliament, which tells us that he has been listening indirectly or covertly and at the end of it all, for us to have a very positive correspondence from the presidency, by no less a person of the secretary, adhering to the general public's cry and parliament, he has dissented from signing that bill, which means it's a victory for the country and also shows that the president has not reneged from his campaign promises on transparency and accountability. The president has listened to Sierra Leoneans. And the president has responded. Though you are saying um, it was noted in the memorandum sent to us, but the memorandum also stated that parliament can do the needful in terms of looking at it from the angle of um, what the president wants it to be. That is to say, accountability should be at the forefront. For Sierra Leone Parliament's eye on Bla TV Online, I am Abdullah Bla reporting.